Hi there, Simon from simonwoods.com. Uh, I have a couple of uh, Portuguese whites here from um, not quite opposite ends of the country, but uh, uh, the Douro and the Alentejo. Um, and um, I'm, they, I'm just look, having a look at the, the, the back labels. 12.5% uh, alcohol for the Douro, 14% for the uh, Alentejo wine. So, um, slight difference there. Let's see how much of a difference there is when we come to taste them. I better tell you what the first one is, hasn't I? Um, so this is Altano uh, Douro 2016, made by the Symington family. They're the ones who own Dow's, Wars, Graham's and, uh, uh, and several other... Uh, bits of the of the Douro Valley, best known for port, but um, doing a rather uh, increasingly uh, impressive in job uh, job with their with their table wines too. So let's give this one a whirl. It's almost as if someone has taken Sauvignon Blanc, added a touch of um, fresh vanilla rather than confected vanilla, uh, really uh, bits of herbs in there too, and a metallic freshness. Does that make sense? Um, and what, what I mean by that is um, sometimes you'll get that, um, uh, if you've ever got a uh, carbon steel knife and cut through, cut through fruit, sometimes it leaves a character, uh, a characteristic on the, a characteristic flavour on the, on the melon or something like that. And so, so I get that slightly benevolent metallic edge, but there's also something spicy and um, vaguely gewurztraminer like that um, makes me think, is there something a bit like um, a, a part of the Muscat family in there? There's this grapey, uh, grapey spiciness. And those grapey characters really come through when you, um, w when you taste it. Grapes, this musky, um, musky herbiness. Um, those zesty edges, which were the, the things that reminded me of the Sauvignon with a little touch of the herbs in there. But, um, Hangs around in your mouth. I feel, I, if you'd asked me what the alcohol was, flavour-wise, it feels like it, it feels like a much richer, riper wine than twelve and a half percent. But then the finish is certainly fresh, and there's almost like a briny edge to um, to it. There's this edge, an edge of ever so slight saltiness. Um, in terms of what I'd want to drink it with, um, I I'd like some uh, slightly not too hard cheeses. Um, Bit of Emmental, bit of um, young Gouda. Although I, I, I love old Gouda. Uh, I, I, I think if if you put me a range of flavours of Gouda and range of ages of Gouda, I'd um, probably get through quite a bit of that. Um, next wine is uh, so we're going quite a bit further south in Portugal now. Um, so this is Esperal uh, Alentejo uh, Reserva 2015. Um, oh, we've got the grapes on here. Antal Vaz Arinto Rupero. Uh, six months in French and American oak. Give it a whirl. Very different beast. This is, um, it feels uh, weightier. It feels like there's been more winemaking going on there. And you've got riper fruit. But some of those grapes um, that I was mentioning there, they're ones that have um, just over the course of time uh, acclimatised themselves to, uh, to, to southern Portugal. So you're getting uh, flavours that are not in your face, ripe, massive tropical fruit. There is this, they're, they're more citrusy, and uh, they're, they're, it feels like there is, there's going to be a little gentleness about the uh, the wine, despite the fourteen percent alcohol, despite the slightly, um, uh, it's yeah, the oak, the oak is is currently leaving a quite a large uh, imprint on the wine, uh, but um, I've only just opened it, and I've got a feeling that over the course of the next few. Um, a few swirls or the next few hours, um, I think that uh, that uh, that would uh, dissipate. Big, powerful wine, but with uh, with subtleties in there. Um, almost reminds me of an oaked semillon. Uh, there is this uh, textural thing. It's not it's not amazingly fruity. So there is a like preserved lemon, um, a bit of peach in there. But there's these toasty oak uh, edges. Uh, this herbal resiny, slightly, um, yeah, waxy. Um, one of those that intrigues your mouth and has you sort of going, oh, I want another sip of that. But I don't want to do it just yet. I want to give it a little bit more time to uh, ooze out of, its, uh, uh, out of its structure. And so I'll give it another whirl and come back in a moment. Yeah, I, I really like that, but it feels like a wine that I want to keep an eye on, on and uh, either if I'm going to drink it um, 
at, at, the, at this stage of its life. I want to decant it and come back to it two hours later. Ideally, I'd like to see it with two or three more years in bottle. And um, then I think it'd be rather... Fabulous was the word I was stretching for, but um, I uh, maybe it's, it's a bit too strong, but um, I find it a very tasty wine. But not for now. I'd drink the Altano now, and uh, but I'd, uh, I'd, I'd hang around for the Esperal. Uh, they both do a very good advert for Portuguese white wine. See you soon.